hey, have you invested in the Eve Home Bluetooth devices and you've been having unreachable issues? In this video, we're gonna show you a couple of things that you can do to address those problems. Hey guys. Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel we bring you new smart home content every week focusing on Apple HomeKit, but as well as Amazon, Google, Home Assistant, and really whatever I find interesting in my home. If you guys find that interesting, please do me a favor, consider subscribing. In today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the Eve Extent. This was provided to me by Eve Home as a review unit, so I want you guys to know that just to make sure if you think it's influenced me or not. Um, in this case though, the proof is really in the pudding, and I've used that phrase a couple times in this video, but it really is. The Eve Extend, I have been using this for the last couple of months, um, and the purpose of this device is to really help improve your connectivity of your Eve Bluetooth devices, or your Eve buttons, your Eve Room Gen 2, Eve Degree, Eve Aqua, all of these devices that you may have in your HomeKit setup. This will significantly improve the performance. Let's check it out. So BLE is not a bad tech. It just has its limitations. And one of the biggest limitations it does have is distance. Um, so in a traditional Apple HomeKit home, the Apple TV or your HomePod may be your home hub, and it's going to talk Bluetooth to some a device like an Eve Aqua, which may be out in your backyard, out in your front yard, controlling your sprinklers. But they just can't talk to each other because the BLE, the Bluetooth, just simply doesn't have the range. So one way we can fill that gap is to use like an Apple TV or a HomePod, place that close to an outside wall, and then we can kind of hop through that. So Eve has given us another option here for Eve devices only. You can put the Eve Extend at the edge of your Wi-Fi network, and then you can hop through that to connect to all of your Eve Bluetooth devices. So now you understand why you might want this. Let's look at the specs. The Eve Extend is a Apple HomeKit only product. That means it's only going to work with HomeKit. It's not gonna help you with Amazon or with uh, Google. The other thing you have to be aware of is it's Eve products only, Eve Home, and not all of them. The Eve Room first gen and the Eve Thermo first gen are not supported. This is also not gonna help you with your Fabaro or your KuGeek or Onvis BLE devices, but it is gonna help you up to a maximum of eight with your Eve Motions or your Eve door and contact sensors, or even your Eve Energy. These are products that have been around in the market for quite a while. Um, it'll also help you with the Eve Flare, the Eve Room Gen 2, the Eve Degree, the Eve Button, and the Eve Aqua. All of those are supported on here. Although again, a maximum of eight devices per Eve extent. So again, my sincere thanks to Eve for um, getting me this Eve Extend. This was a pre-release version that, that they did supply to me. So uh, important for you guys to know that. And the box in here, fairly simple. I'm pretty sure that Eve, um, having seen a lot of their products before, is going to have more of the white style box upon full release. This does have the new style QR code in it, which is nice. And you can see this is very reminiscent of the original Eve room, as well as the Eve weather, the Eve motion sensor. So it's kind of the old style. Um, again, I'm a big fan of the new Eve products, the black and steel chrome style of products, but in this case, it really doesn't bother me much because this is not really a product I'm going to be displaying. So although most of us are used to the Eve products that look like this are battery operated, in this case, that is not going to be true because you've got a Wi-Fi adapter in here. Because this is using Wi-Fi and not Bluetooth, it is going to consume more power on average because it's always connected. Although we do have all the documentation available to us and it is very thorough, it's not actually like we need it, to be honest, because this is a really straightforward setup. You plug it in, you add it to HomeKit, and the app takes us through everything that we need to know. Let's do that now. So we're going to go straight into the Eve app, which is by far the best free HomeKit app out there right now. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely do that. And the reason that we're doing this is because we got to do a little homework first before we get the Eve Extend up and running. It does require new firmware on all your Eve devices. So if you haven't done that already, head on over to settings and the accessory list and look for the, uh, the red up arrow icon which lets you know that there is a firmware update to be done and these can be done fairly quickly again i'm not going to show you all of them but there are basically new updates to support the eve extend for all of these supported eve home accessories 
This is relatively painless, but it is going to take some time. So the next step, you're going to want to add the Eve Extent to your HomeKit setup, which is easy as just scanning in the HomeKit code. At this point, just like um, all of the other HomeKit ads, it's going to transfer over your Wi-Fi settings to the device. You get to choose which room you're going to put it in. And then you're going to be presented with this new dialog, which is what accessories do you currently have already within your home kit home that are available to be assigned to your new Eve Extend? Again, this is a pretty painless process, but you are going to want to think about this. Um, the distance issue is still going to be an issue with the Eve Extend if you have the Eve Extend on one side of your house and the device you're trying to pair with it is on the other side of your house. The nice thing is you can buy multiple of these and place them around your uh, apartment, your house, and get the most out of wherever you're putting these things. Once we do that, the what's going to happen is the Eve Extend is going to kind of take control of those existing devices and they're going to be reassigned to the Eve Extend. So they actually pulled out a home kit and reassigned um, as if they were almost like a Philips Hue bridge or a Lutron bridge or IKEA home smart bridge device. So it's really an interesting architecture here that you can either connect them directly to home kit or connect them through the Eve Extend, whatever works best for you. So once we've got that all set up, you're going to be able to go and find your Eve Extend and see, hey, look, I've got two devices connected and everything is going well. As well, you could assign additional accessories if you have those. So if you buy them after the fact, not a problem. So final thoughts, as they say, the proof is in the pudding. And what I can tell you is that after running the Eve Extend for a couple of months now, I have seen dramatic decreases in my unreachable for my Eve degree and my Eve Aqua that is outside, as well as improvements on the Eve Flare um, that I have connected to it. I haven't connected all of my devices because I have some within range, right? So I really like the fact that Eve recognized that their original choice to use Bluetooth Works great for some people. Other people who don't understand how RF works, we're having some issues with it. So providing us this Eve Extend as a way to bridge that gap, brilliant idea. I also love the fact that Eve took care of us as customers. Um, the Eve Extend, the Eve uh, Door Contact Motion, those products have been out three, four years, which is a long time in IoT smart home world. So the fact that they brought these forward, I'm really, really, really happy with the, the fact that they're treating us with respect as customers and making sure that we get the best experience for as long as possible. What do you guys think? Is this a product that you're using already? Do you see uh, a benefit of this? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already and uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Would love to hear from you no matter what you have to say. Thanks.